Pure Bond, Chapter 4, The First Date It's Saturday morning and Jack plans to take Sarah out on a date for the very first time after she genuinely invited him and his friends to her family's estate and showed her hospitality by making him and all of her friends a big feast. Now he wants to do something special for her. It was very nice of Sarah to invite me over and offer her hospitality. She really showed her appreciation to me by doing that. Now, it's time for me to return the favor. And tonight's date will make it all possible. He thought all night about where he wanted to take Sarah. And at last, he finally made his decision on where he plans to take her. I've got it! I'll take her to the Olive Garden. That seems like a great place to have dinner at. I'll call her around 12.30 and see if she agrees. This is going to be awesome. She's going to have an amazing time. I know it. Now that he settled out his plan, he rested on his bed and started watching some basketball highlights on TV. Meanwhile, at the Morgan estate, Sarah was very excited about her first date with Jack. To prepare herself, she was choosing a variety of dresses that she had in her closet and picked the one that she'll be wearing for tonight. Amy was watching her big sister while sitting on her bed. Having a hard time picking a dress, huh? Yeah, I just have so many. And they're all so pretty that I don't know which one to wear. The possibilities are just endless. Well, why not ask mom which dress would best suit you? When it comes to fashion, she knows what's best. Yeah, I think I'll do just that. I'll go talk to her. Sarah then went to her parents' room, holding two dresses in each hand. There, she asked her mother Maria for options on which dress she should wear. Oh, good morning, Sarah. Good morning, mother. If you don't mind, can I have your opinion on something? Of course. How can I help? Well, I wanted your opinion on these dresses. I'm going out tonight with my boyfriend, and I don't know which dress best suits me. Which one would you prefer, the black dress or the crimson one? To give you my honest opinion, Sarah, I would say the crimson dress is a better fit for you, because it displays your true beauty and sharp tenacity. I would also prefer wearing black leggings to give it more flavor. All right, Mother. I'll put the dress on right now. Sarah went to the dressing room to try out the crimson dress her mother recommended her wearing. When she was done putting on the dress minutes later, she showed it to her mother. So, how do I look, Mother? You look gorgeous, honey. And I'm sure your boyfriend will find you quite stunning dressed like that. Thank you, Mother. I really appreciate your advice. I'll put this dress up in my room for later tonight. She gave her mother a hug before heading back to her room. Amy was still in her sister's room. Wow, Sarah. You look beautiful. Thanks, Amy. It's the dress I'll be wearing for my date with Jack. Like I told you earlier, sis, Mom always knows what's best when it comes to fashion. That she does. Well, all I can do now is wait for Jack's call and find out where we'll be going. One thing I will say is that no matter where he takes you, I know you'll have a wonderful time with him. I'll let you change your clothes now. Talk to you later, sis. See ya. Amy left her sister's room to let her change her clothes and to have some privacy. Sarah undressed herself back into her pajamas and hung her crimson dress in her closet. Soon after she'd done that, she heard her cell phone ringing. Huh? I wonder who that could be. She looked at the caller ID and saw Jack's name on the phone. She soon answered the call. Hey, babe. Hi, Sarah. How's it going? It's going well here, Jack. Thanks for asking. So, have you made your choice on where to go tonight? Yep, and I've decided that I'm going to take you out to the Olive Garden. I love it. That sounds like a great restaurant to have a nice romantic dinner. Awesome. So, how about we meet up seven at your place? Sure thing. I'll have Mr. Rogers pick you up at six and escort you here. I can't wait for our date. Until then, see you later tonight. All right. Until tonight, Sarah. Enjoy the rest of your day. With a few hours remaining before his big date tonight with Sarah, Jack wanted to have a conversation with his dad about the topic at hand and what should he expect to do. Dad, what was it like with your first date with Mom? Well, Jack, for me, it was the most amazing feeling I've ever felt in my entire life. It's something in a couple's life that they just cherish for many years. Sure, 
I was nervous a bit the first time when I went out with your mother because I didn't know what to expect or how would I act during my date. But I was just being myself and that's exactly what you should do. Be yourself, enjoy it, and most of all, treat your girlfriend with the utmost respect. I understand. Thanks for the chat, Dad. I greatly appreciate it. Anytime, Jack. After the private father-son chat, Jack started prepping himself for tonight's date with Sarah. He took himself a shower for about 20 minutes. He then brushed his teeth and then took out the clothes that he was going to wear. A red formal shirt, black khakis, white socks, and black dress shoes. He ironed his shirt and pants and hung them on the hook of his door. Alright, I'm ready. Let's make it a night we'll never forget, Sarah. Hours later, it was just about time for Jack to head out to the Morgan Estate to meet up with Sarah. He made his way downstairs as his family waited for him. Whoa, Jack! Looking good! You look amazing, honey. Thanks, Mom. His dad wanted to remind him again what he told him earlier. Remember, Jack, just be yourself and cherish every moment that you have with Sarah because for years to come, you'll go back to this and say you had the best time of your life. I'll make every moment with her worth it, Dad. Count on it. Hey, Jack, I want to take a quick snapshot of you before you go. Jack's younger brother Tony took a picture of his big brother on his phone. Go get her, Jack! You got it, bro. Moments later, the doorbell rang. Thomas opened the door and the visitor began introducing himself to the family. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Daniel Rogers, escort of the Morgan family, and I have been sent here by Lady Sarah to escort your son to the estate. An escort, huh? Seems like you're getting preferential treatment, huh, Jack? Sarah and I planned this throughout the day. We made sure everything went according to schedule. You've displayed a great use of time management. I'm quite proud of how you've executed this plan. Thanks. All right, sir. I'm ready. Excellent. Then let us go. I'll see y'all later tonight. Jack and Mr. Rogers were about to leave the house. But Robin wanted to give her son something first. Jack, wait. Before you go, I want you to give Sarah this. She gave Jack one of her special gold necklaces to give to Sarah. Your... your gold necklace? No, I can't take this. I insist, Jack. Your father gave me this many years ago, and I've cherished it ever since. Now, I want you to have it. Give it to that special young lady. Mom, I... I don't know what to say, but are you sure? Of course, honey. You deserve true happiness in your life. Thank you. I, I really appreciate this. I'll be sure to give this to her. Jack hugged his mother after receiving the necklace. Alright, honey. We don't want to keep your date waiting. Enjoy yourself. I will. Okay, I'll see you all later tonight. Have a great time, son. Jack and Mr. Rogers then left the house, got in the car, and left the premises driving back to the Morgan estate. Jack's parents saw him took off as they reminisced this heartwarming moment in their lives. Our son is growing up into a mature young man, isn't he? He sure is, honey, and I'm proud of him. I hope he finds true happiness with that young lady. Me too, dear. Me too. While Jack was being escorted to the Morgan estate, Mr. Rogers had a little chat with him. Uh, you know, Mr. Johnson, Lady Sarah has nothing but respect for you. Really? Mm-hmm. I had a talk with her after your visit at the estate, and I asked her, what do you see in that young man that makes him special? She told me that you're a young man that's truly passionate about being there for others. And you've shown it by being there for her when she really needed it. Yeah, I've noticed that her parents weren't there yesterday during our visit. She was pretty sad that they couldn't be around to see me. That's true, but rest assured, you will see them when we arrive. They promised Lady Sarah to greet you. That's good to know. I look forward to seeing them. Fifteen minutes later, the men had finally arrived at the Morgan Estate. 
Rogers parked his car within the estate and escorted Jack inside the mansion. Okay, Mr. Johnson, uh, please wait here a few minutes while I inform Lady Sarah that you're here. All right, sir. Mr. Rogers went upstairs heading towards Sarah's room while Jack remained downstairs near the main entrance. Meanwhile, Sarah was in her room combing her hair. She then heard her door knocking. Lady Sarah, it's me. Come in. Mr. Rogers opened the door and entered Sarah's room. Uh, pardon the intrusion, my lady, uh, but Mr. Johnson has arrived and is patiently awaiting your presence downstairs. Thank you for informing me, Mr. Rogers. Let him know that I'll be down there in a few minutes. Of course, my lady. Mr. Rogers exited Sarah's room and went back downstairs to update Jack on her status. Uh, Miss Morgan is almost ready, Mr. Johnson. She'll be down here momentarily. Uh, just wait a little while longer. I am going to inform my employers that you have arrived. Okay. Rogers then left the main hall to locate Chester and Maria. Jack stood by the main entrance waiting patiently for Sarah to come down. She's certainly taking her sweet time. She must really be looking forward to this whole thing. Well, I'll make sure that she has the best night of her life. And after five minutes passed, Sarah finally made her presence. Good evening, Jack. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's no problem at all, sir. Oh my god. Before he knew it, Jack saw Sarah in all her beauty. She walked down the main stairs wearing a crimson dress, black leggings, and black heels. Wow, Sarah. I don't even know what to say. You... you look amazing. Oh, thank you, Jack. You look very handsome, too. Jack approached the stairs. He walked up to Sarah and escorted her down. Her parents and sister made their way to the main hall to see the couple together for the very first time. That's right. You didn't get the chance to meet my parents last time. No, I haven't. But I'm glad I get to meet them now. The couple made it downstairs and Jack greeted her parents and her younger sister on the main floor. Good evening, young man. Hi, Jack. Good evening to you all. So... We finally meet the boy who won over our daughter's heart. <laughs> yeah, that would be me. Sarah began introducing her parents to Jack. Jack, I'd like you to meet my mother and my father, Maria and Chester Morgan. Mother, father, this is my boyfriend that I've been telling you about, Jack Johnson. Mr. and Mrs. Morgan, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Oh no, the pleasure is ours. We're just sorry that we weren't able to see you yesterday. It's okay. You were just doing your jobs. Still, we owe our daughter this much by seeing her off on her first date. I'm sure you've met our youngest daughter Amy during your visit. Mm-hmm. She's everything like Sarah. I would do anything to keep my sister happy. She and I are an inseparable team. She's right. She's always there for me when I need her, and vice versa. She's the closest thing to a friend I could ever have. Now that's what I call a peer bond. Sisters who always look out for one another. Sarah's grown quite fond of you, Jack. When she first told us about you, she had nothing but sincerity for you. When I first met her, I found her talented with the skills that she possessed. But now after spending more time with her at school and getting to know her better, I believe she's the one special person I want to spend my life with. Aww. Well, we've always wanted Sarah to find her own happiness in life, and it looks like she found it by her encounter with you. You've made our daughter very happy. Thank you, sir. Well, it's time for you two to get going now. We don't want to waste any more of your time. Oh, right. Come on, Jack, let's go. Oh, okay. It was nice meeting you both. Likewise. Have a great time, honey. Thank you, Father. She approached her family and hugged them all. I love you all. And we love you too, Sarah. She grabbed Jack's hand and the couple walked out of the estate. Outside the complex, the couple were just about to enter the family limo, but Jack wanted to give Sarah something first. Sarah, wait. Huh? What is it, Jack? Before we go, there's something I want to give you. He then took out the item that he wanted to give to Sarah. 
Oh my! Jack, it's beautiful! This is my mom's gold necklace, an item that's very special to her. She insisted that I give this to you. But why would she do that? I asked her the same thing when she gave it to me. But after she explained why, it made more sense. My dad gave it to her as a form of their bond, and she cherished it because of how much thought he put into that gift. Now, she's given it to me to give to someone who's special in my life. In this case, you, Sarah. Oh, that's very sweet. I'll be sure to thank your mother for this when I meet her. Don't worry. You'll get your chance soon. Jack then approached Sarah and wrapped the necklace around her neck. So, Sarah, do you like it? I love it! I really love it! Thank you for this special gift, Jack. I'll cherish it always. She then gave him a kiss on the cheek. You know, I've been really looking forward to this date for quite a while now. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's go. <laughs> the couple held each other's hands and approached the family limo. Mr. Rogers opened the car door for them and the couple entered the vehicle. Soon after, he entered the vehicle too. Inside, Sarah was cuddling Jack and was enjoying every single moment of it. Ready? We are, Mr. Rogers. Excellent. Next stop, the Olive Garden. Rogers started up the vehicle and drove off from the Morgan Estate, taking the couple to the Olive Garden. Sarah's parents watched their daughter leave the estate with her boyfriend. I'm so proud of you, Sarah. You found your own happiness. Rogers and the couple had arrived at the Olive Garden at Burbank in about 36 minutes. Rogers exited the vehicle and opened the door for Jack and Sarah. Here we are, sir, and my lady, the Olive Garden. I'll be waiting for you two outside. You two enjoy your romantic dinner. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rogers. We will. When the couple got out of the vehicle, Sarah wrapped her arms around Jack's as they walked inside the restaurant. Wow, this place looks fantastic. Yeah, it sure is. They waited for someone to escort them to their seats. One of the employees appeared and escorted them to their seat as well as provide them the restaurant's menu list. Jack looked at the menu. Oh man, everything on this menu looks so good. I just don't know which one to get. Have you decided on what you're getting, Sarah? Mm-hmm. The waiter approached the couple's table. Good evening to you both, and welcome to the Olive Garden. Are you ready for me to take your orders? Sira was the first to give her order to the employee. Yes, of course. For me, I'll have the fettuccine alfredo and the garden fresh salad with a glass of water. Jack followed soon after. Alright, I'm ready now. I'll have the chicken marsala with some breadsticks. I'll also have a glass of water too. The waiter had written down everything they've asked for. Thank you very much. We'll have your food ready in 15 minutes. Thank you. After they'd taken their orders, the waiter took their menus and left. Soon after, Jack and Sarah started having a chat with each other until their meals were ready. From what I've seen from you since we've met, you're really talented at ballet. Actually, dancing altogether. So I'm curious to know who inspired you to do it, and what do you see in it from your perspective? Well, Jack, the person who inspired me to do ballet was none other than my mother. Dancing was something she had a natural-born talent with. She was considered one of the greatest ballet dancers in town growing up, and it made her well-known to many famous theater producers all over the country. In fact, she's the one who taught me everything about the art when she was a young girl. Since I was six years old, I've been performing ballet and have been a part of many performances all across the city. The skills that she gave me, I'm using them to become a professional ballet dancer myself and to carry on her legacy as one of the greatest ballet dancers in the world. Wow, that's amazing, Sarah. You are truly gifted. Does your mom still dance now? From time to time, but not as much as she used to. She now runs a clothing business, showcasing all her latest designs. My sister and I have tried out some of our mother's clothing and it turned out pretty good. That's good to know. Thanks. All right, your turn. What got you into playing basketball? For me, I've grown to love basketball by watching it on TV years ago with my dad. 
He got me into the sport when I was 7 years old, and I played with him all the time, wanting to learn how to perform the moves the athletes on TV did. For years I've been training with my dad and coaches to further improve my skills. It wasn't easy, but it was something I've always dreamed of doing. And as you saw from my game not so long ago, I've worked on my cardio and endurance to further enhance my speed and accuracy. My ultimate goal is to play in the professional level, to take on the best players the world has to show. That's amazing, Jack. With all that time you spent practicing, I'm sure it'll all pay off. I really hope that your dream comes true, Jack, and know that no matter what happens, I'll always be there to support you. Same here, Sarah. After 15 minutes passed, the waiter had arrived with the couple's meals. Sorry to keep you both waiting. Here are your meals. It's no trouble at all. If you need anything else, just let me know. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. The waiter walked away from the couple, and Jack and Sarah began eating their dinner. Mmm, this stuff is delicious. This place is an Italian restaurant after all. And you're not wrong there, Jack. It serves some really great food. I guess this isn't your first time coming here, is it? Nope. I come here once in a while with my family. That's good to know. For my time being here, I really enjoy it. <laughs> I'm glad you like it here, Jack. Jack and Sarah were enjoying their dinner while having a nice conversation with each other. After 20 minutes passed, the couple finished their dinner. The waiter soon approached them to collect the trash and to hand them their receipt for their dinner. Hope you both enjoyed your dinner. The total for your meal is $36.95. Don't worry, Jack. I've got this. Sarah was just going to take out her credit card to pay the bill, but then Jack intervened. No, Sarah. I'll take care of this. It's the least I can do. So leave the bill to me. Oh, thank you. He gave the waiter $40 and soon got his change from him, $3.05. You both enjoy the rest of your evening, and thank you for coming to the Olive Garden. The waiter then walked away from the couple's table, and soon after, Jack and Sarah got up and were preparing to leave the restaurant. That was a good meal, don't you think, Sarah? Without a doubt, Jack. Alright, you ready to go? Mm-hmm. They held each other's hands as they exited the Olive Garden. Mr. Rogers saw the couple heading towards his direction. He exited the vehicle and opened the car door for them. Oh, you're finished. Did you two enjoy your dinner? We did, sir. It was a wonderful meal. Well, that's good to hear, Mr. Johnson. But now it's time to, that I take you home. Thank you. Rogers closed the door the couple got in from into the vehicle himself and drove off from the Olive Garden to escort Jack back home. So, Sarah, did you enjoy this date? I loved it. This was the best night of my life. Thank you, Jack. I'll treasure it forever. So will I. I'm happy to hear that, Sarah. And there will be many more where this came from. Mr. Rogers finally arrived at the Johnson family home. He parked at Jack's front yard and opened the door for him and Sarah. The couple exited the vehicle and walked towards the front door. I really had a great time with you tonight. I truly appreciate what you did for me, Jack. You're welcome, Sarah. And there'll be plenty more dates where this came from. I promise you that. Sarah was blushing at him. She closed her eyes, her face slowly approaching his. And then, they kissed each other and Sarah took a step back from Jack. You want to know something, Jack? I've always dreamed of meeting someone that was nice, caring, and trustworthy. And now, my dream has turned into a reality. Here I am, right in front of the man of my dreams. The one who has supported me, cared for me, and loved me for who I am. I'm very happy to have met you, Jack. This night was truly the beginning of our pure bond. I want to be with you. Forever. Just seeing you makes my day, Sarah. And I feel the same way about you, too. Fate brought us together, and we'll forge our own destiny through it. Right. Well, I'll see you Monday. Good night, Jack. Take care. Good night, Sarah. Get home safely. Jack waved Sarah goodbye as she entered the vehicle, and Mr. Rogers drove off from the premises. 
Thanks for the wonderful night, Sarah. I'll remember it for the rest of my life. I love you. While in the car, Sarah looked at her new necklace, softly covering it, and then looked out the window, watching the bright stars in the clear night skies. I'll never forget what you did for me tonight. I will cherish this moment for the rest of my life. I love you, Jack. I truly love you.